As the nation continues to pay tribute to Bush 41, current lawmakers are remembering the legacy that he has left behind as well. Our Washington correspondent Jessica Smith spoke with some Midwestern senators about their memories of 41. As America pays its respects to President George H.W. Bush, lawmakers are looking back at the legacy he leaves behind. Ohio Senator Rob Portman called the former president a mentor and a friend. He taught me about being a leader, a public servant, being a better husband and father. Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio says he will remember a life dedicated to service starting in World War II. George Bush rarely talked about his service, and that's pretty typical. Brown hopes hearing President Bush's story will encourage other veterans to tell theirs. I would hope that they would talk a little more about their service um, so that we know about it, and they don't need to brag, but to just talk to us about the costs of war. The 41st president inspired veteran and Senator Joni Ernst to share a story from her deployment. Just the extraordinary uh, reception that we got from the Kuwaitis. Senator Ernst served in Iraq and Kuwait in 2003. She says she felt very welcomed in Kuwait, and for that, she credits President Bush. They remembered the time from Desert Shield and Desert Storm, and they saw him as really a deliverer for their country. They see him as that beacon of freedom. Ernst says she also remembers the former president's willingness to work with everyone. Regardless of party or disposition, he was able to bring people together. That's a lesson Ernst hopes we can all learn from President Bush's legacy. In Washington, I'm Jessica Smith.